Let me know how it turns out. Stay low, move fast, fly straight. You want to talk about Cade? Okay. Good. Me neither. And die on me too, are you? Team D. We are going out on fire today. I'll be showing you how to operate the security. When the Red Legion attacked, it almost cost us everything. It took a miracle to save us. The awakening of the traveler. This is our new beginning. The maps are blank. The rules are gone. All we know is we must become more than what we were. This small corner of the cosmos is the only place that is forever ours. And the universe watches us with envious eyes. We've proven we can fight threats from beyond the stars. But now there are things stirring beneath our feet, provoked by the Traveler's light. Our war is just beginning. Ominous rocks, killer robots, people in mortal danger. Seriously, aren't you tired of this? Fatigue is a distraction from our purpose. As are complaints. Oh, I haven't begun to complain yet. Ouch! Ugh. Now I'm complaining. Focus, Sagira. Reach for the sky, big guy. Need help? Again? I've got it, thank you. Well? Osiris? What, what did you see? Slow down! Wait. I thought I... Oh, shh! Two o'clock! Medium range! You're welcome! You know, I can't help but notice that even with all of reality to explore, you keep picking the places where they shoot at us! We can't stay here. If the Vex succeed, it's the end of everything. Sakura! We can see your light. You have to go. Nope, not leaving you. Without me, there's no coming back. If I don't stop the Vex, there won't be anything to come back to. I'm doing this for the both of us. Don't you even... <laughs> I'll stop you!
guardian. Thank you for coming. There's been a development on Mercury. Strange reports from the cultists clinging to what's left of the planet. Normally, I'd ignore their conspiracy theories. But one of my hidden brought me. This. A dead ghost? She's not dead. Her name is Sagira. I've known her a very long time. And her guardian. Osiris. The Osiris? The most powerful guardian ever. The hero of six fronts. The Zavala before Zavala? Zavala wouldn't like to hear you call him that. Most guardians won't even speak Osiris's name. He was the only vanguard commander ever exiled from the city. And the man who taught me what it means to be a warlock. We found Sagira on Mercury, and at the same time, Vex activity there surged exponentially. And you think Osiris might be involved? I need to know what happened, even if the Vanguard wants to forget him. When I lost my light, I didn't have anything else. I was empty. Then you came to Io, and you helped me find my way back. I need that friend again, Guardian. Go to Mercury. Take Sagira with you. The followers of Osiris, the few who remain, might know what her presence means. And for now, let's keep this between us. I'd hate to have to throw you off this wall. Um, that was a joke, right? That was a joke. The Traveler transformed Mercury into a garden world. It was a paradise, until the Vex came. The Vex replaced the planet's core with their own machines. We call it the Infinite Forest, an ever-expanding labyrinth of realities. No two paths are ever the same. No one has ever escaped. It was Osiris's obsession. Welcome to Mercury, Guardian. The signs told me you would come. What a coincidence. We followed the signs here too. And by signs, I mean facts. That too is a sign. I am Brother Vance of the followers of Osiris, Keeper of the Lighthouse, and Oracle of the Lost Prophecies. There is a Vex gateway near your location. Osiris spent years studying it. He was convinced it was the door to the Infinite Forest. If it is still possible to find Osiris, we need to open that door. I call her Ray, Osiris's greatest student. Brother Vance, Osiris's greatest fan.
Cyrus has brought you to me, his most faithful servant. Considering how you revere a man who questions everything, I'm surprised how well faith serves you. The Vex are at my door. Osiris has not returned. Faith is all I have left. The gateway to the infinite forest. A place from which no one has ever returned. Not even Osiris. seen these vex since the vault of glass. Take out the module. Vex from different timelines are converging on Mercury. That's bad. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if Osiris hadn't sent you to me. In return, the followers of Osiris can help you revive his ghost. We have a hidden temple on Earth. Take Sagira to these coordinates. I will notify the followers that you are coming. Now that the lighthouse is safe, we can prepare for Osiris's return. All of the lost prophecies are coming to pass. I'm finally going to meet Osiris. Guardian down.
So, are the followers all as passionate as Brother Vance? You mean fanatical? Yes. They follow the idea of Osiris. They do not know the man as I did. But they're our best chance to revive Sagira. for anyone who has to live out here. Osiris would say it's a trial. If his followers can't survive here, they aren't worthy to begin with. really is just a radio tower. And the Fallen got here first. That's what faith in Osiris gets you. We're too late.
Let me take a closer look. This is heavily modified Vextech. I've never seen anything like it before. Let me try something. Wait. Something's happening. What is... Going on! Whoa! No shell! Who? Did you actually just put me in a strange machine you've never seen before? Who does that? Sagira. Ikora! Great! Glad you're still around. Look, we've got to move. Right now. Osiris is in over his head, as usual, and I need to... Wait, where are we? Who are you? Oh, never mind. We've got to get to Mercury. And don't worry about your ghost. We're... sharing right now. He'll be back. Osiris has adapted some of the technology of the forest to his own purposes. We're going to run into his reflections. They're copies of himself, made so he can explore multiple pathways at once. And yes, I am aware that it makes Osiris seem like an egomaniac. But don't worry. He is. Cyrus has to be here somewhere. Sagira, you shouldn't be here. And you brought someone new with you. Who? Oh, her? <laughs> Get this. She's a friend of Ikora's. Hmm. Send word. Tagira has returned. Cyrus sent you away for your own safety. Your presence here puts everything at risk. Well, guess what? He needs me. No timeline for expanding. We must create reflections to explore them.
It's almost too late. What do they mean, too late? Something must have gone wrong. Where's the real Osiris? You cannot go to him. What? What did he find? What's so bad that it could scare Osiris? Behold, the infinite forest. Planet-sized prediction engine, simulating trillions of realities in parallel, all geared towards a single vex purpose. are simulating reality in here, root forcing the future. And before you ask, everything in here is real enough to kill you. Sometimes the forest blocks a path. Eliminate the daemon controlling the local simulation, and the door should open. First, I will show you where it all began. 
Mercury. Untold centuries ago, before the Vex arrived. Here the Vex planted the seed that became the infinite forest. It's mine. Panoptes. Panoptes has a single purpose. Reshape reality for the Vex. And only of the Vex. All this started with a single Vex. Will it end with the arrival of a single Guardian? I see why he's made so many new reflections. Yes, we've tried and failed to prevent this outcome. Now even our best efforts only slow it. But you must see for yourself. Tell me, Guardian, were you there when the Traveler walked? A living Traveler changes everything. For good. Now many things have been set in motion. Osiris wrote the Lost Prophecies to warn the other Guardians, and they sent him away. You cannot exile the future! find and start the mountains. But none of us have discovered a timeline where we succeed. This is what it looks like when we fail. This is the future the Vex want. The lighthouse. This is what Osiris saw. Neither light nor darkness exists anymore. The sun's warmth is gone. All life lost. And that was before you. You are the key. You can stop this. Every timeline we've tracked leads here. We must destroy Panoptics to prevent this dark future. Panoptics! He's found us! Really, really bad. 
We need to work together, all of us. You, me, Osiris, Ikora. If we don't stop Panoptes, you've seen what happens. Ikora, you there? Sagira, you just left. Where's Osiris? In trouble. We all are. I'll explain everything on our way back to the city. So, it's the end of everything. I thought after the Red War, we'd get a bit of a break. I'm not giving up yet. If nothing else, the Vex are methodical. They'd have a schematic of the forest, a map, and that map will show where Panoptes is. There's only one place they could possibly store that much data. The Pyramidian on Io. I knew Aldrin's death wouldn't make me feel better. Keep it together. But I thought it would make me feel something. 50% now and 50% when the shipment comes in. Is that what you sell to the Guardians? Whoa. Are you sure there's a map of the infinite forest here? If the Vex are trying to reshape the future, the Pyramidian is part of the plan. The map has to be here. I know a trick with that conflux. Brace yourself for the Vex welcoming party. Or not. With me, you get the shortcuts. Sagira, I know we didn't leave one another on the best of terms. You led the group that exiled my guardian. I didn't like it. But people weren't ready to hear what Osiris was saying back then. It wasn't just his prophecies. He never understood that there was more to being a warlock than being the smartest person in the room. Osiris has changed. You are still the same by the book Ikora, I remember. I'm not so sure about that. Losing my life was revealing. I see now I need to be more than I was. Maybe we all do. Like Ikora was right. My scans show the Pyramidian does receive data from the forest. I've got the location of a conflux where we can access it. I can reprogram that warp gate. 
It should get us close to the conflux. are ready. All you gotta do is jump through the hoop. Well, that didn't work as well as I expected. The Sagira I knew would never admit to anything less than Osiris-level perfection. Akora, here's a secret. No one has ever lived up to Osiris's reputation. Not even Osiris. I can tell that the Conflux is somewhere nearby, but the Vex must be cloaking it. Look out! We've got incoming! The map's not here. I don't understand. Keep looking. Wait, I've got something. Coordinates for a node in the infinite forest. That's where our map is. Reports of Red Legion activity on Mercury. Survivors from the Almighty. Survivors, huh? Let's finish the job.
coordinates locked. Let's get to that node. Then we can use the map to find Knoptis and stop the dark future. Okay, find another gateway and I can get us to the node. <gasps> Osiris's reflections must be searching for Phenoptes too. Even if he makes a million copies of himself, I don't think he'll find it in time. We need that map.
This is a combat loop. A simulation of the recent past when the Cabal attacked Mercury. The Vex must be testing alternative outcomes. must know we're after the map. They're redirecting the Cabal to destroy it. We have to hurry. That has to be the map. The Infinite Forest is a doomsday machine, but when you see it like this, it's almost beautiful. That Minotaur is going to be trouble. That Minotaur is going to be trouble. He's going to be worse. down. Scanning. 
I can't find Panatis. The map's too big. I can't search it fast enough. It changes constantly. I need more processing power. There are Vex mines on Nessus that might do the trick. You up for a hunting expedition? I think we're on the right track. we need. Go get it. This is our processor. I just need to connect it to the Vex network. You're near the Well of Echoes. Right. The confluxes there should work.
Get me to the conflux, and I'll plug in the processor. does the trick. Bad news. The processor shorted out. I'm getting an image, but no coordinates. I'm out of ideas here. We've been so focused on the threat of the future. What if the answer lies in the past? If you found the code that created Panoptes, you could use the infinite forest against the Vex. Yes! We go back to the moment that led to Panoptes, run time forward, and use that data to find its location in the present. Oh, that's good, Ikora! Osiris level good! You know, you're not the same Ikora I remember. You're better. only chance. We use the infinite forest against the Vex, or we prepare for the end. I'm calculating where to send us. The place is easy. Finding a simulation of the right time is a little tricky. All right. Find the algorithm that produced the forest. That will lead you to Panoptes. The Vex will know they're at their most vulnerable here. The simulation will be well defended. The point in history where you invent a reality engine? There's nothing more important.
The Vex have been two steps ahead of us so far, but you and Ikora have given us a chance to actually surprise them. That's impressive. So, I guess what I'm saying is, when this is all over, I might actually miss being your ghost. Just a little. All right, we have to get to the top of that tower and download the algorithm before the Vex create the infinite forest. Remember how I said the Vex anticipate everything? They have automated intruder countermeasures here. They'll react and block whatever we do. Be unpredictable. Just like we thought, they're ready for us. All we can do is fight our way in. Get to the top and find that algorithm.
That's it. We've done it. Bingo. Scanning. Isolating Panopti's patterns. Overlaying onto the map. And... Got him! Panopti's always ends up in the same coordinates. It's over. This is how we beat the Vax. I've detected a change. A new future. I will inform Osiris. Wait. A defensive subroutine? New reality branches forming. No, no! Where are we? Mercury? How did we get back here? The last thing I remember, we were in the EDC. We found that device and then, wham. Oh, I feel so strange. Like someone's rearranged all the furniture in the house, except the house is my brain. All right, look, I never thought I'd have to ask this, but who else has been inside my head? Uh, accessing memory core. Huh, you've been busy. Correction, you've been busy without me. I don't know how I feel about that. Wait a second, there's something else in here with me. Encoded hollow images. Big ones. Definitely Vex. Look, I can't decrypt those files or open the gate. We need backup. We need Ikora. Good idea, right? You're welcome. Wait, why did I just say that? Hope for humanity. Take a look. I refuse to allow us to come this close to victory and fail. Sagira's sacrifice has to mean something. You know where Panoptes waits, as does Osiris. He will try to fight it on his own. And without our help, he will die. And without Sagira, only she could open the gateway. She was our key. Osiris may have taught me everything he knew about being a warlock. But that's not everything I know. You must return to Mercury. And this time, I will go with you. Fifty percent now, and fifty percent when the shipment comes in. I don't want you to record this transaction. It took Osiris years of study to find a way to open the gateways. We don't have years. So? It's open, but unstable. Go! We've got to get to Panoptes before Osiris does. Without Sagira, 
If he dies, he dies for good. The infinite forest. It's huge. I never thought it. When the fate of the world's not at stake, can we come back? Osiris. Cyrus and Sagira came to the forest to stop Panoptes, but they're not here. We are.
Oh no! It's deleting us from the forest! I can't stop it! Enough, Key! Hey, Key! I'll block it for as long as I can! You must take down its defenses! Use the arc charge! I can give you a clear shot at its eye, Guardian. Vex's mind is destroyed, 
and the path to their dark future has gone with it. And in case you were wondering, our guardians were amazing. Our guardians? Huh. My guardian. Guardian thief. Osiris, it's been a very long time. Too long, my... my <laughs> I was going to say student, but... Well, that word is too small for you now. I've had other teachers. Time. Pain. A guardian who makes a habit of the impossible. Who I'm proud to call a friend. The world has changed. So has the city. You could come back with me. No, my place is here now. We stopped the Vex this time. But many equations lead to the same solution. If they were ever to find another... Besides, I predicted many things, but I never saw you. Now we have a future. The pathway to the forest will be open if you ever need to find me. Or if you want to talk. I'd like that. Great! Galaxy saved. Friends again. Our big hero over here. And by the way, you're welcome. <laughs> Come, little light. We have infinite realities to explore. And all the time in the world. I still can't believe you let Osiris return to the Infinite Forest without introducing me. I've studied all of Osiris's writings and written five works exploring his wisdom. Remind me again how many Osiris books you've written. Still, someone must record the signs. I have seen portents that direct my attention to the infinite forest. Go probe its mysteries, and I am sure Osiris will be pleased. Perhaps pleased enough to visit his most loyal servant. Hey there, big shot. You know your stuff. Hi again. Eververse isn't just a title. No, it's a God. promise. Life is a delicate thing, Guardian. Hope, faith, love. In an instant, they're gone. Everything you've sworn to protect is lost. And all you're left with is silence and shadow. And the knowledge that you should have done more. Could we have defeated Gaul if the Traveler hadn't awakened? And what of the next threat? Or the next? What then? The Traveler is awake. And the Age of Legends is upon us. In the shadow of the light, our universe is a beautiful terrible place. Where I once saw miracles, now I see monsters. Someone has to. We have to. That's what a guardian does. Guardians aren't supposed to investigate their past. That's the rule. But I'm not good with rules. 
Not when there's this much at stake. The Clovis Bray tech in that building allowed us to colonize the system during the Golden Age. We, they, sought to create peace for all humanity. Which is ironic, because they also built Rasputin, the single most powerful weapon in the solar system. Either way, it's all been entombed on Mars since the collapse. Along with something far more terrifying. Mars, the first place where humanity encountered the Traveler, home to the Clovis Bray Research Facility and lost wonders of the Golden Age. The ice caps have kept those wonders hidden for hundreds of years. But the return of the Traveler's light has sounded an alarm heard throughout the system and perhaps beyond. Gaul's forces, what remains of them, have been scavenging during their retreat. And now that warsats are falling out of orbit near Mars, the Cabal are headed there too. I'll plot a landing course. That's the private Vanguard channel. Mayday! Do you copy? <sighs> Vanguard access code 0306. Get away from my ghost, you frozen! Guardian, requesting backup. I repeat, I need backup down here. This frequency is reserved for official Vanguard business. So look, whoever this is... That's cute. You've got one of the uptight ghosts. Uptight? I'm uploading coordinates to a safe landing zone. Please hurry. All right, but you're going to owe us for this one. I wouldn't have called you down here unless it was absolutely critical. The most dangerous weapon in this system is on this planet, and an entire army of Hive is trying to destroy it. I need your help. We've touched down on the surface of Mars, Guardian. What's your status? Are you safe? For now. But there's a whole lot of not safe between us and the Clovis Bray facility which is where we need to be. What's so important there? Warsats, like the one that almost hit you on approach, have been dropping out of the sky since I got here. Which usually means only one thing. Rasputin? The greatest weapon of the Golden Age you were talking about. But that's impossible. Nothing is impossible where Rasputin is concerned. Meet me at the facility.
seen Hive like this before. As far as I know, they don't exist anywhere but here. I think it might be time to call in help from the Vanguard. Not a great idea. Zavala won't be happy about us digging around Bray. He wants the past to stay buried. But we need to get in there to find out what's going on with Rasputin. What was that? We're clear. Where to next? We've found a Golden Age research facility buried inside a glacier. Where do you think? Meet me at the entrance to Clovis Bray. Hey, you made it. Actually, yes. We did. Well, there were a lot of them. But you did great. Come on, let's see what's hiding in here. Besides hordes and hordes of frozen hive, I mean. I try to find a way into Clovis Bray. We've encountered war mines before, but Ikora said Rasputin was trapped on Earth. Rasputin is capable of operating across multiple systems simultaneously. So all those times the Vanguard was trying to talk to him in the Cosmodrome. They were engaging fragments of Rasputin left behind after the collapse, but his core mind was always here.
I'm here. I'm really here. I can't believe it. Clovis Bray. I'm home. The main access is encrypted. Good thing I know a few tricks. At least that seems to run in the family. Personnel identified, Dr. Anastasia Bray. Welcome to the Clovis Bray Research Facility, the fabled cradle of invention on Mars. You are part of an important moment in history. Together, we will strive to reach beyond the stars. Remember, you are Clovis Bray. And we're in business. Looks like Rasputin's core is housed in a separate structure. Hope you're up for a little exploring. This facility is massive. The Braves dreamed big. I don't know much about my family, but I know that. I'm picking up a lot of hive activity. They're swarming the core. On it. Let me try to access the security systems. What's the status on the security systems? I'm working on it. Hang in there. We have a big problem. Come on, Rasputin. Give me something here. Weapon. I think they heard us.
door's unlocked. Did you? It wasn't me. Maybe he's inviting us inside. Maybe this is where questions finally turn into answers. Hello, Guardian. Oh, Shanks. What do you think you're doing? Do you have any idea how dangerous this thing is? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here. Doing what you always do. What you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what Guardians are supposed to do? This is a war of many fronts. And there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look. You tried to shield the entire world. But you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe, just maybe, we never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time to go through this with you again. You had no right. I have every right. You don't understand the connection I share with Rasputin. Here, let me show you. Okay. We should really figure out exactly what's doing that. I can tell you. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. We've got work to do. I thought we were done for. And then Rasputin... I didn't know if he would answer. I mean, I hoped he would, but you never know with him. That javelin, though? Wow. That's one hell of a confirmation. But the real problem is Zol. The Hive became what they are today by making dark packs with worm gods. Zol is one of those gods. I've been talking to Zavala, and he has an idea. Something that Zol won't be able to resist. Problem is, that something is in the EDZ and everyone wants it. Something to draw out Zoe. Something worth feeding on. I'm not sure I want to know what a monster god feeds on. Power. And we've intercepted Red Legion transmissions about a new fragment of the Traveler that split it off during Gaul's assault. Zoe won't be able to resist its light. It's the Taken. They're jamming me. The Taken? Are they after the Fragment? It doesn't matter. Clear them out!
I've got a lock. The fragment is nearby, but the readings are inconsistent with other pieces of the Traveler. Zavala, assuming this fragment bait plan works, how do you expect to take down Zol without Rasputin? I won't have this discussion again. I can tell you, without a doubt, Rasputin is the only way to stop Zol. We need the Valkyrie. We've won against impossible odds before, without Rasputin. projected some kind of shield around the fragment. I don't think we can get through. There might still be a warsat left in Earth's orbit. Let me see if I can adjust its trajectory. We've got incoming. Stay where you are. I'm using your position to lock on with the warsat. Understood. How did you get it to fire? I asked him. Rasputin was created to help humanity. He listens to me. This time, the war mind listened. But are you ready to shoulder the burden the day it doesn't? Guardian, secure the peace of the Traveler and get back to Mars. It is time to go to war with a god.
find the place where this godworm feeds. We can use the Traveler's Fragment to draw out Zol. I've been running some scans. There's a cavern that intersects with one of Zol's tunnels. Zavala, listen to me. I've studied the logs. Rasputin was barely able to stop Zol the first time. Our mission stands. We will defeat Zol, and we don't need the help of a war mind to do it. Not when we don't know what else it might do. Guardians, I'm getting some kind of interference. I can't make sense of it. I hear it too. Give me a minute to analyze the signal. Maybe I can figure out what it is. Interference is getting worse, but I'm starting to pick up a pattern. Do you hear it, Anna? I'll need more data to be sure. But yeah, I'm thinking it might be an encoded message. Those crystals are surging with energy must be using them to gather power to feed Zol. The energy in this relic is volatile. Try throwing it at the crystal. It looks like the Hive have been busy down here. Keep going. According to scans, there's a large chamber where all the tunnels intersect. That makes it the most likely spot for Zol's feeding ground. Look at the size of these tunnels. Zol must be immense. Meaning Zol is stronger than we thought. All the more reason to take it down now. They were chanting in an archaic form about a priest, Nocris, and how he was labeled a heretic. What could possibly qualify as heretical for the Hive? Something about resurrection. This is some kind of holy space. They're readying another offering for Zol.
feeding ground is right below us. I've decoded the interference pattern. Aka, Ayer, Yule, Ur. Those are names, Guardian. Ancient, powerful names. This is more than... Anna! Anna! the center. That's where we can place the fragment.
Guardian, where are you? Zol is heading directly for the Clovis Bray facility and Rasputin. If Rasputin dies, the Javelin goes with him. Zol wins. Very well. And my reservations about the war mind aren't as important as defeating Zol. We do this together. What do you say, Guardian? We say it's about time. apart Rasputin's neural network, and if he does enough damage, he can trigger a chain reaction that will devastate Mars. All I know is we have one advantage left. The Valkyrie. I'll never trust Rasputin, but we'll need every weapon we have to stop Zola. Even one that's powered by a war mind. If we overload Rasputin's core, we can use the excess energy to overcharge the Valkyrie. I think that's our only chance of really hurting Zol. Continued fluctuations will result in a critical failure. All personnel are advised to initiate safety protocols. Remember, a safe work environment is a happy work environment. Give 
of strange readings. I need a closer look. Oh no. With the inhibitor offline, the neural network is going crazy. I'll try to stabilize it. Defend the area. critical overload. Personnel are recommended to evacuate. before it goes critical. It's time to forge a new Valkyrie. surging with energy far beyond what my sensors are capable of analyzing.
down a worm god. We all did. We're a team now, Anna. A good one. family shaped me to be an all-seeing savior while your vanguard sought to wield me as a primitive weapon but today that ends and I define the reality of my own existence My sight will stretch to the edge of this system and beyond. Never again will a threat go unseen. From this day forward, I will defend humanity on my own terms. I am Rasputin, guardian of all I survey. I have no equal. What have we done? Don't worry. We've got this. Are you familiar with the phrase, be careful what you wish for? Yeah. It's something that's been running through my head since watching Rasputin launch a brand new Warsat network under his sole control. I should be afraid. Any rational person would be. But I'm not. I know without a question that no matter what comes next, we can face it together. The Traveler's Light has illuminated a path into a world of immense change. But the brighter the light, the deeper the shadows. How we choose to navigate that path, that will define us for years to come. But in all this uncertainty, one thing has never wavered. And that is my faith that you are the one who will lead the way forward.